Hey guys, EBP Man here with Tablets for Me. And today we're going to do an unboxing review of a OBD driving scanner or monitor from Psycho. So let me talk about um, how you use one of these guys uh, before we do the unboxing. Uh, if you have in your car that little pesky check engine light or um, tire light or any kind of monitor that goes off, uh, this device is going to tell you what's going on. Uh, for example, sometimes you get the check engine light and it could be a oxygen sensor. It could be something that just costs 12 bucks. Um, maybe you've changed the oil on your car and you just can't figure out how to take off the check engine light because of you know the different, um, I would say, configurations and steps that you have to go through in your car to do that. This little device is going to give you the ability to see those error codes and reset them. More importantly, if you're in the market and looking to buy a used car, uh, what I've done many times and some of my relatives have used these devices uh, for is to plug it into that used car and then check the car because it's really easy to scan and see if the car has any problems. So it has a lot of functionality and a lot of flexibility and today I just wanted to go over this one from Psycho. So in the box you're going to find a user manual, a client satisfaction card, and the scanner itself. On the back of the uh, user guide, you're going to find two applications that are available uh, for uh, this scanner, one available on iOS and one available for Android. I wanted to show you some of the uh, specs or some of the things that you can do. And if you look up here right on uh, in this area, you'll see that uh, this is going to be able to tell you the health of your vehicle while you're driving. It will give you a drive analysis through the app. Um, it is going to also allow you to uh, read up to 16,000 troubleshooting codes. Again, uh, this could save you a lot of money, especially if you have to go to a mechanic because you're having some problems with your car and you may not know what the problems are. This is going to help you identify those. Uh, it does have some other features. If we look over here, this is what the app would look like um, if you're using it as you're driving. So this is going to tell you a lot about your car. Uh, not that everybody really needs this, but I know that there are some auto enthusiasts that really like seeing this type of information and seeing how the car is performing in various areas of the vehicle as it's being driven. Uh, you know, so once again, a lot of different uh, bits and pieces of information, and we're going to plug this into a car and we're going to try it out and see um, how we can use it. Now, the adapter itself is pretty small, and typically this plug appears um, on the bottom left hand corner of the driving area of your car. So most cars have these, you'll find it, it may be covered. Uh, it is does not have a USB port to plug into because it's self-powered. This is what when you take your car to the dealer or to a mechanic and they plug something in, in your car when they open it up, this is what they have a, a more professional grade to read what's going on in your vehicle. So as you notice here you have a couple um, settings here. You have a power as well as a link. So the power is obviously that you're getting power and it's self-powered and the link just means that you're connected uh, to your phone via Bluetooth 4.0. So you can plug this in and it's not going to hurt anything because uh, really uh, this is what this port is designed for. That port is designed to be plugged in and to get information from it or read information from it. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this off in my car and we'll see what kind of information we can get. So the first thing I wanted to do is show you where the port is where you're going to plug in the, um, the monitor or scanner. And like I said, most cars um, have it somewhere in this area. Sorry about that. So somewhere right here. My car, this is um, actually a Toyota, has it right here. So all I'm going to do is take the scanner itself that you see right here, and I'm going to plug it into that port that you see right there, this one right here, and then as soon as I do it, it's going to light up. Now once you plug it in, it's going to look just like this. You can see, um, you know, I have the light on so I can show this well, but the the LED is lit on saying that there's some power here. So now all I'm going to do is scan for this device just like I would any Bluetooth device. So now I have my uh, phone in Bluetooth mode and you can see I can see it right here. All I'm going to do is choose it just like any other Bluetooth device and then it will pair it. So now that I've successfully connected the app to the scanner and the scanner is connected to my vehicle, you can see this is the type of information that I'm getting. So it's telling me a lot of information about my battery, telling me about the vehicle, uh, engine temperature, and if I have any issues that I need to worry about. There are some other settings here, so I'm just going to choose a different one, HUD. Here you can notice it's um, going to tell me what my speed is. Right now I'm not driving, but it is telling me that I do have some speed, so I just plug this in. We'll see what happens once I start driving to see if that adjusts, because right now I would say that those uh, readings are false. 
We're going to go over here, so you can see this, and let's see if I can adjust this so you can read it. Uh, here you can see the kind of information that we have here. Uh, driving time, uh, driving distance, total mileage, speed, average speed, um, real-time oil consumption, as well as you know what my coolant is. So it's really giving you a lot of information about your vehicle. Once we start going, um, we'll see what else it tells us. So let's go uh, back to the HUD, and then what we'll do is we'll go back... And it looks like what this HUD could do. Let's let's check this out. Yeah. So what this is doing is you can actually lay it on top of your dash, and it will reflect upwards onto your screen. So that's what it's doing is doing that reverse view. That's pretty cool. I don't know how, how well it will work in my car, but still, it's pretty nice to have. All right. So this was the feature I was showing you guys a couple seconds ago. I have my phone resting on top of my dash right here. You'll see it right there. And then the reflection that's hitting on top is showing up. So I basically reverse the image. So I can see, um, and it may not come out as clear um, on the camera, but it's pretty clear. I can see what's going on and I can adjust it. Oops, I moved that around. So I'll put it right here. I can see uh, what my RPMs are. I can see my speed, my oil consumption. And you'll see I'm going to speed up right now. And you can see that this will catch up in a second. Let's see, let it go. So they're starting to update. And as I'm driving, it's actually I'm capturing all this information. And it's using that, uh, that mirroring effect that I showed you. And it's, I'm surprised. It's working really well. So here you can see what it would look like um, when you're uh, you know, just driving. So I'm noticing that there is a slight delay. Um, I don't know if it is my phone or if it's adapter. Now it's catching up. So here you can actually see my speed. You can see all the information that we were talking about, uh, consumption and whatnot. But now we have it in the other mode. So now it's, you know, I have it on my, on my uh, car mount um, in this case. So um, the other app I wanted to show you that this scanner works with is a product or program called Torque. Torque is pretty popular. I'd say it's one of the best um, applications out there when it comes to monitoring and looking at fault codes on your vehicle. And I just wanted to show you that it is um, uh, actually uh, accurate and measuring everything that's going on in my car. So I'm just choosing this setting for a second. And I can swipe through and there's various settings here. So this is showing I'm actually almost at a at a complete stop, but it's showing the rev of my engine as I move over. There are all these different type of monitors. I'm getting um, a little message here that says it's connected to the ECU and that everything is okay. And the neat thing about this is the this app is also highly uh, configurable and it has multiple skins. So it's really going to give you the ability to, to personalize or make this experience um, your own. And you'll see here that it's um, looking at my fuel system information, looking at uh, the system type. All this information is all real-time information that's coming from my car. And once again, uh, it's compatible uh, with this app. Now the scan uh, process is going to be different for every uh, vehicle, um, and uh, some of this has to do also with your phone, how quickly it can process things. So you, what you're going to see is it's going to go through, and if there's an error, if there's something that you are worried about, uh, what the system will do is it will come back and tell you what the error code is. If there are no error codes to be present, it's going to say that there's nothing there. Um, so we're going to let it go through the process, and you'll see that. Now I'm doing this as I'm driving. You probably would want to do this test parked. Notice at the very bottom it says no fault uh, codes stored, meaning that there are no problems with this vehicle, and that's what you're looking for. That's a big thumbs up. So I just wanted to show you here the type of information that the scanner is collecting. So you notice uh, here are all the results of some of the uh, tests that it, w that it did. And you can see that um, really it's, it's checking a lot. Uh, and the neat thing about this is, once again, if you, if you do find anything that's wrong, you could use any of these codes to figure out what's wrong with your vehicle and easily take it to a mechanic. Or if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you could find what you need to repair or replace. If it's a sensor that just costs you know anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks, you could do it yourself. So this concludes our review of the Psycho OBD driving monitor. I want to thank Psycho for making the product available uh, to us on this channel for review. And I also want to thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions about the product, please leave it in the YouTube channel. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.